With the Render Frames at Markers tool of Automation Blocks for Premiere Pro, you can batch export still images easily. Just put a sequence marker at each frame you want to export and choose the tool Render Frames at Markers. Here you can choose the folder to which all images should be exported. And here you choose the image format. I suggest to use JPEG for small file size or PNG for best quality. Finally, here you can specify how the images should be named. By default, the name is composed of the sequence name and the frame number. Alternatively, you can use the marker name, marker comment or frame number only. If you want to use marker name or comment, you can set those very conveniently in Premiere Pro's marker panel. If you run the tool, for each marker one job is added to Adobe Media Encoder. As you can see, the file names are exactly as we have specified in our marker names. Let's start the render queue and all images show up in the result folder. Note the number at the end of all file names. This is a little limitation of the media encoder export. Since technically the images are exported as image sequences, media encoder appends those numbers to count the frames, although each image sequence just contains a single image. Let's take a look at how to customize the block code of these tools even further. I know we are moving a bit into nerd territory here, but if you get into it, you'll open up limitless possibilities. This part here creates the user interface, and if we expand this block, you can see the details of the actual export. This green block loops over all markers. For each of those markers, first the file name is determined. The blue if block determines which naming option you have chosen and sets the name accordingly. If you've chosen the naming option sequence name plus frame number, the file name is set to the pattern $1-$2, where $1 is replaced by the sequence name and $2 is replaced by the frame number. If you've chosen the option marker name instead, the file name is simply set to the name of the marker. So if you want to get crazy with custom naming, just set the variable file name to whatever you want. After the file name is determined, this green block adds the frame to the render queue. Let me show you one more customization. Yeah! Say we only want to export markers whose color is green. Then we can add an if block here and move the add frame to media encoder block inside of it. So it is only executed if some condition is met. Since we want to check if the marker color is equal to green, we add an equality check as condition. Then to find the marker color, we copy this block here which retrieves the marker name and change it to retrieve the color of the marker instead. Then here we insert the text and set it to green. If you wonder which color names are available in Premiere Pro, you can right click on the block which retrieves the color to open its documentation. And with this modification, you change the tool to only export green markers now. This is an aspect which makes automation blocks very powerful. You don't just have a big collection of ready-to-use tools, you can also customize them to fit perfectly into your workflow.